Hi, this is CC Doucette with the nonprofit Wireless Education. I wanted to share with you today that the U.S. National Toxicology Program, which is part of the United States National Institutes for Health, has published the final report on their $30 million study on whether cell phones can cause cancer. They went into this study almost a decade ago expecting to find that cell phones are safe because they were brought to market with no safety testing. And what the National Toxicology Program concluded is that there was clear evidence of tumors in the hearts of male rats, and the tumors were malignant schwannomas. There was some evidence of tumors in the brains of male rats. There was some evidence of tumors in the adrenal glands of male rats. And no, they didn't do these studies to see if Wi-Fi and cellular signals harm rats. They do these studies using the Sprague Dolly rats and other species because what generally happens to these rodents happens to humans. And so we now know enough that Dr. Miller, Dr. Anthony Miller, who's been a senior advisor to the World Health Organization, is now declaring that we need to reclassify radio frequency radiation that carries all of our signals as a known human carcinogen or a group one agent. So we are beyond the point now of questioning whether wireless technology is harmful. We know scientifically that it is. So it's time to not wait for public policy to catch up to the science, but to come up to speed on our own learn what the international science says, learn what the international best practices are for safe technology, and begin making choices on how we can still use technology but without the wireless radiation harm. We encourage you to go to the nonprofit wirelesseducation.org where you can access a very short schools and families course or a very short corporate induction safety course. Each are about a half an hour in length to take these courses, and at the end you will be provided with a tip sheet with very hands-on practical tips for using today's technology more safely until the industry actually brings biologically safe technology to market. Thanks so much, and have a tech-safe day.